In this video, I'll show how to implement two ventilation groups using the WCC 310 standard control panel. For this installation, you need the WCC 310 standard control panel, two actuators representing the two ventilation groups, two WSK 103 manual override switches, and the WSA 333 cable gland set. Here I have the WCC 310 standard control panel. Let's have a look inside. Inside, we see the installation manual and the panel itself. I open the panel, any screwdriver can be used to open it. I can now start the installation of the peripherals. First I'll connect the two actuators. The first actuator is going to be connected to motor line 1. I connect the cable cores in this order. White in terminal 1, green in terminal 2, and brown in terminal 3. I'll connect the second actuator to motor line 4. I connect the cable cores in the same order. White, green, and brown. The WSK103 manual override switch. Inside we find the installation manual, the cable and the switch itself. The next step is to connect three manual override switches. Two will be connected to each operate each motor line and the third will function as a thermostat that controls the two motor lines in automatic mode. I connect the first manual override switch for operating motor line 1 to S3X1. First the open signal, second the close signal, and lastly the common. The second manual override switch for operating motor line 4 has to be connected to s 3 X4 in the same order, the open signal, the close signal, and the common. Now I connect the third manual override switch representing the thermostat to S3X10, which is the input for common control. The cable cores are connected in the same order, open, close, and common. The installation is completed. I'm now connecting the panel to the mains power. I remove the black plastic cover here. Here I have the terminal for connecting the power and the earth connection here. First I connect the earth to the screw here and two cable cores into these terminals. When done, I place back the protection cover. Next, I power the panel. Now that I've powered the panel, I can initiate the panel's auto configuration process. I do this by pressing the up and down buttons at the same time and keep pressing until the yellow LED is switched on. The panel will find all the hardware and configure itself accordingly. The process can take up to two minutes. The panel is ready when only the green LED is switched on. The panel is now ready. Let's test it to see if it works. From the up and down buttons on the panel, we test that the motor lines are working. I press the up button and the actuators open. Close and the actuators close.
Next, I press the open button on the manual override switch operating motor line 1 and the actuator connected to motor line 1 is opening. Long press on the closing button and it closes. I press the open button on the manual override switch operating motor line 4 and the second actuator opens. Stop and close. The last peripheral to test is the manual override switch representing the automatic control in our demonstration. Since it is an automatic control, it has lower priority meaning that I have to wait 30 minutes after using manual controls for it to work. After waiting the 30 minutes, I press the open button and both actuators open. We notice that the actuator runs slower than in the manual control and that they're running as long as the button is being pressed. When I release the button, the actuators stop moving. If I press again, they continue opening. We see that they behave the same when closing. Hold the button down for closing and release to stop. Everything's working as expected. The control panel is ready for use.